Hey everyone, Extreme Crypto here. Let's see what happened to my BTC BUSD pair, which I started yesterday. And we're also going to start the Ethereum BUSD pair today. So, as you know, I've drawn my strategy up yesterday. I've put in my limit orders. The yellow mark was my entry point, and the red line is its current profit, take profit. Now we've broken through my first limit order. So I'm going to put in a new take profit for this one and my order moved down. So let's get to it. We update my current BTC pair and then we'll add the Ethereum pair. So my new take profit will be at 36. Put the limit order in. It's going to be 36, 1, 2, 6. 36.126.08 and the amount of BTC on that trade was let's just see here we go it was 0 0.00356 now why is there less BTC oh I know it probably went to my own wallet let me just Redeem that real quick. I used to earn to gain extra profit. So it might have just put it over because I didn't come and do my trade immediately. So now it should be updated. That should be an order. And we can put my sell limit in. As you can see, my sell limit is in. So this will be my new take profit I've taken. And this is my latest entry point. So there we go. If you look at my BTC pair again, you'll see I got my 10 trades set up. My 10 trades are set up. I know my system is correct. We're getting close for another order and then we'll put in the limit order yet again on this one. But while we wait and see if this is going to happen, let's put up the Ethereum chart. And get that in place. Go. Go. Add that. And we'll start drawing it out. We'll go immediately and do a buy order to get it off. Get the price. Start off with my ten dollar buy. There we go. The order is done, and we bought at two one two four one four. So let's put in my first line. One two four one four. All right. One four. So that was my entry point. Now the first one we're gonna have is my two percent profit. Go. That will be the take profit for that current trade, and from here we're gonna add a different limit orders. All right. Let's get to the first one. on two percent remember this is my personal strategy something that's working for me and everyone's opinion on how it works and how they want to work it is going to be different but it's just the way I like trading mathematical 
and I don't like really looking at charts and that's the main reason why I trade like this it's more or less DCA down I'm just pre doing it and I'm doing it on my own way I'm a firm believer if you do anything do your own strategy because your own strategy you understand it better and you'll make more profits from it I should probably change these colors as well let's do it before I get confused this is going all the green lines is going to be my limit buy orders the red lines is my limit take profit basically and the yellow line is my current or latest entry a lot of people probably say I'm wasting money for putting the orders in early and all that kind of things but I've seen a lot of people run out of money so if you do put the orders in prior and you let it run and have it in you won't run out of money and I've allocated a certain amount to each pair I'm trading and I've done my calculations around that as well so per pair I shouldn't be running out of any funds it should keep me going all the way and I know what I've invested and what I can use on each pair which makes a huge difference because if you're trading 20 or 30 different pairs on this strategy you would have allocated a certain amount to each pair which makes a huge difference you don't have to jump around getting funds from this one to that one or doing this or that you know your funds are allocated and as the market move and you hit your stop losses you gain profit all the way there we go so my take profit or um, sell losses in and now I'll just add my different buy orders if the market tumbles and goes down we have buy orders in place to buy up and as the market turns around and move up again will profit from it so let's put the sell order in first that's going to be on 2169.87 and the amount of your firm we bought was zero Seven O. Go. That means our sell order is in, and now we're just gonna add all our buy orders. So the first buy order will be on. Six one, and that's gonna be twelve sixty one. All my calculations is mathematical so I've calculated make sure I use just a certain amount by increasing it as well each trade so it's a pretty decent concept which I like I love trading mathematical it makes a huge difference for me I don't like looking at indicators and charts and all these different kinds of options yes they might work but each person have their own unique way of trading I'm a firm believer look at everyone's ways and develop your own way by developing your own way of trading it just benefits you because your own strategy you understand a lot better than anyone else's the same way around 
you might not understand my strategy, but you might see something to improve your strategy. That's why I do look at a lot of people's trading, the way they're trading, what they're doing. And by doing this, I can learn and I can see different things happening, which helps me in a different way as well. Watch and learn and make up your own mind. This strategy is basically dollar cost averaging, but I'm just using my own percentages and my own bankroll management strategy. Doing this on a lot of different coins does make a difference because some of the coins will profit while others will consolidate and the other way around. And as it goes down, the gaps get bigger and bigger. And that also means my profit on those trades gets bigger and bigger. So I would love the market to drop. Not everyone will say that, but if the market drops, it creates opportunity for profit for me, which I like and which I really enjoy. I have turned it around. And it, if you would like me to start doing this on live calls and live streams so you can follow and you can see what I'm doing, please comment below or hit the like button and just say do live streams rather than the videos. I won't mind doing live streams. I've done hundreds of them and I love helping people. The market is big enough out there. We can help each other and make gains and move forward from it. And now the last one, 975.77, and that amount will be 155.08. As you can see, I had the $500 total in my balance, and after putting in this trade, what has happened? wanted to take the trade there we go I only have 30 cents left so this strategy is costing me $500 per pair but it's one I'm invested in and creating myself opportunities let's go back to the Bitcoin pair and see did that second trade eat yet are we still waiting it's getting pretty close let's go to a smaller time frame and see no, there's still a gap. Let's make it. Does that have to drop quite a bit or not? Oh, yeah, no. It's still $200 drop before I'll eat my next limit order on Bitcoin. So I'll sit back and wait for it. And in the meanwhile, let's set up our alerts. Let's cancel the current alerts I have. Because I did get my Bitcoin alert for earlier when it eat my order but now I need to reset them go so on Ethereum first let's add our first order of crossing so if we cross the value of 2169.87 I want to get alert because that means I eat my sell limit or take profit and then when it crosses 2081, 2081.61, I want another alert because then I need to put in a new cell limit order. There we go. Our orders are in for Ethereum and now to do Bitcoin. So Bitcoin, our first one, it's going to be on our 36126.08. And our second one for the new buy order will be on 34321.21. So I'm using Binance for my trades and I'm using TradingView basically to do my analysis. 
I'll leave links for both of them in the description if you want to look at it. Leave me your comments. Let me know should we start doing this on live streams or not. Have a great one and enjoy trading without any indicators. Take care.